Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to Pixelotl uh, by Sculp, <laughs> Avis, and uh, Vatsav. All right, so this game is a little bit special to me, and I I'm going to start by saying this: this is probably going to be the last Flash game in the marathon. It's been a lot of fun. At least it's been a lot of fun for me to record, but I think this is finally going to be the final one. Um, and the reason why I decided to pick this one for my final one is because I've actually Let's Played this game before, way back in 2011. That was a horrible video, because <laughs> all of my old stuff is garbage, except for my uh, Secret of Evermore All Alchemy video, basically. But whatever, this is, um, this is a game that I've always really liked. I like the pixel art. I like the characters, um, I like the gameplay. I'm kind of surprised it never got a sequel or caught on or anything. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I have no time to, po uh, to pose randomly. I'm going to be late for my friend's party. Ah, I'm here. Wait. I really like the art in this game. Where is everyone? I found a note. Help! A stork came and captured us. I don't want to be a snack. This sounds like Hylix music. I need to find them. Can't have a party with no people. Alright, cool. There are 50 levels in this game. Um, alright. Instructions. Hold space or shift to increase your gravity and other effects. <laughs> this game has some very fun physics. Oh my god, I like how your character like scrambles up a bit when you're trying to go up a bubble. Like, that's really funny. <laughs> And you can hold down space, this increases your gravity, and I think it had, yeah, like, like that bubble said, basically. It makes it easier to push stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and start. There we go. Okay, now here's the first practical use of increasing your gravity. Uh, pushing through blocks like this. When was this game made again? Hold on. Uh, oh, I'm just kind of curious. Hold on a second. I think if I go to his page... It'll tell me. Latest games. Ah, sometimes it'll tell you, like, when it was uploaded, but apparently not here. Um, maybe it says on the title screen or something. Alright. So here's another cool thing you can do with gravity. Gravity also affects other blocks sometimes. It makes orange blocks go downwards. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh my god, I forgot this game had accessories. <laughs> I might try to get them all. I mean, it's the last game of the marathon. I might as well go all out. I love the sound direction in this game. You can barely hear it because it's very quiet, but... Like, that little sound, it makes me turn on the gravity. A little jumping, like... <laughs> it's a very cute game, you know? That's a word I would never use to describe this game as a kid because I was a very edgy teenager. <laughs> okay, so I think these straight up kill you. 
Yeah, okay, you have to restart the level if you get hit by them. <laughs> oh, come on. You know, my one genuine problem I have with this game... I find that, like, the fact that all of the blocks are made are these, like, tiny bubbles, like, all the platforms... It can be kind of difficult to, like... I don't know, like, the physics aren't perfect, and it sometimes doesn't feel like your fault when you lose. It feels like, oh, the bubble bounced me in a weird direction. Hello. Hey, um, are you just going to leave me here? Yes. What? I kid, I kid. What happened to the stork? Oh, the stork kind of just left me here. I have no idea. Well, thanks for saving me. You have acquired some new accessories, so we can put on this guy's party hat. <laughs> I like the party hat. Don't mind me, alright. I like that the hat like falls off your body a little bit as you're falling. Again, how has this game never caught on? Like, it's so charming. The Pixelotl finally finds the exit to the cave and realizes that he is in a large pasture. Where did the stork go? Are there even any other Let's Plays of this game online? <laughs> I'm gonna have to check after this. So the green blocks are very malleable, you can just push them around all willy-nilly. Now purple blocks go up when, uh, when you hold down the button. Nice. I like the green blocks because, like, you know, they are fun to push around, but they are very solid platforms in their own right, too. I remember this stage being a little tricky. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reset. Um... Hmm. Pressing R restarts the level. Oh, I think I know what they want you to do. You push it. <laughs> you bounce it up. Uh oh, uh, okay, I don't think this is intended. <laughs> Made it work, though. You are stuck. No, you. <laughs> you know, I wonder if you can get the switch without releasing these guys. I'm saved. You're welcome. Yes. I mean, thanks. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So what happened to that stork? Yes, thanks. Thank you. Oh, well, the stork seemed to be in a hurry and dropped me. And now we get <laughs> the winter hat and a scarf. Oh. oh, I forgot about that. Hold on a second. Right, you can play as your friends if you go to the level hub. Oh, whoops. You have to click on them? How do you do this again? Ah, here we go. Okay, now we're playing as the, uh, as the like, turquoise bluish one. Be careful where you use gravity. The pixel all has crossed the treacherous pasture and finds himself on a sandy beach. Could any friends be here?
Oh, this is a fun gimmick. I like these a lot. Ah, oh, come on. Oh my god, those platforms! <laughs> yeah, these are fun. Yeah, the game does a lot with the, um, uh, with the, uh, the gravity gimmick. Like, uh, using it as, like, a switch, basically, is what the game is doing right now, and that's really clever. Come on. Come on, I can cheese this level. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Boom. <laughs> Oh my god, that that mechanic too. Yeah, it'll be um whenever you ooh, there we go. If you push a spring block, it'll like lock to wherever you push it right before it fires. The arrows can tell you the way. Um, oh, hold on. I don't, I, think th I don't think this is where the arrows point of, oh, Jesus. Um, uh, okay, hold on. I might have to redo this level. <laughs> Why is it pointing that way? There we go. Wait, I can just exit the level without rescuing the guy. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you okay? Yes, uh, have you found the others yet? Working on that. Do you know where the stork dropped the others? What? They could have been eaten by now. I'm so scared, and... And where's the stork? He went somewhere, really. Uh, big. Well, thanks for coming all the way here to save me. Yeah, we got a new accessory. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks almost like a headband with feathers on it. Um, I, I like the little bird that follows you. Though. I'm going to stick with the uh, the winter hat, actually. I like that outfit. <laughs> I kind of like this color, too. Oh, you have to do this so um they don't send you up way too high. There we go. These orange blocks are in the way. I'm surprised that did it. There we go. The pixel got himself across the ocean and onto a volcanic island. Can he find the entrance to the stork's lair? Okay, so the pink clouds disappear after a while is their gimmick. Oh, here's another, like, really clever use they use for this thing. Right, this mist that obscures the pathway, but, like, your your gravity field just blows it away. I want to, like, interview, like, the people who made this. Be quick with the switch. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it, it's it's all just red spikes under there. Switch is, so there's more than one. There's one. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay.
Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah. I think you have to, like... Yeah, you do have to drop into the mist at one point. Choose your fate. Be quick. Ah, I see the problem. All right. There we go. Oh, more switches. Will you save the friend? Where is the friend? Oh, there he is. Oh, he has cool shades. I might put those on. <laughs> okay, so you don't need to rescue the character. Why wouldn't you, though? Oh, Jesus. Um... Oh, come on. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it only starts to disappear if you land directly on top of it. Okay. Oh, I did the exact. I did that last time, too. Be careful here. There we go. Yo, I'm here to save you. Save me? <laughs> yes. You know where that stork went? Stork? Oh, yeah, that stork seemed kind of tired. Maybe because everyone was complaining and crying and moving around. And then he... Well, I think he went into the volcano. Seriously? Yeah. I think I'll be going now. I'm putting on the cool shades. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this outfit a lot. Finally, the pixel oil reaches the inner volcano. Many uh, challenges are ahead, but he must save his remaining friends. There we go. So yeah, the orange blocks can make you go higher. <laughs> if you, like, time your jump with, like... There we go. With, like, as soon as they touch, um... There we go. Yeah, because you do gain momentum by riding on them. I remember this stage being a little tricky. You know, this might sound really dumb, but, like, I remember one reason why I Let's Played this one back in high school is because, um, this is gonna sound weird, but because there's no, there's barely any volume to it, <laughs> I 
I I think I used Camtasia as my first ever recording software, which I'm going to be honest, is something I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some people watching this don't know what it is anymore. Because like, it is a little obscure by today's standards. Most people just use OBS nowadays. All fast. Well, you probably use Gravity. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to make it so, like, I record audio from, like, the game and also my voice at the same time. Like, we kind of take that stuff for granted nowadays, because just OBS is just that convenient. I feel like I can do this just without having to use my gravity. But because of that, like, the only games I could do live Let's Plays for were ones that, like, had no volume whatsoever. And this one does have, like, sound effects. I know what I have to do here. Yep, there we go. If you just let that ride you, um, you will, like, ram right into the spikes. <laughs> By the way, yes, this is a reason why I Let's Played Stick Ranger so early in my gaming career <laughs> on YouTube. Aiming for the f Oh, this stage is tricky. Um, ah. Come on. There we go. Honestly, do I have to go through that tunnel? Ah, and this is the problem with games that feature quadrupe... 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 four-legged protagonists. <laughs> you have a massive hitbox sometimes. Like, Any time I've ever played a game with, like, a quadrupe... Uh, quadru what is the word I'm thinking of? You guys know what I'm thinking of. Like, four-legged creatures. They always, like... They have, like, massive um, hitboxes, basically. Like, the only exception I can think of is probably, like, Spyro. <laughs> oh, come on. There, that's a fun level. Will you sacrifice everything for a friend? Oh, this stage was interesting, because you have to, like... You have to kill yourself and then just quickly run under. And this game was doing really interesting stuff. Oh, come on. I was going to say, of course I do the final level on my first try. <laughs> now, I'm kind of curious to go back to my original Let's Play and see if this was the costume I used in that game, too. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I don't know, man. I like shades, birds on my tails, and winter hats. Like, what can I say? I'm a simple man. I like winter hats. Oh, he has a top hat and a cape, though. I kind of want to wear that. Hey, you're not eating, I see. No, indeed. You know, in the bad times, uh, we in the bad times we can all be thankful for good things in life. Sometimes people just take everything for granted. It is good you spent your valuable time saving others. What an excellent way to spend your time. Thanks. That stork flew, so, uh, flew somewhere else. I think if we have enough everyone together, we can piece together where the stork went. Then let's get go everyone together. Yes, we can have that party soon. I hope so. Will there be cake? Maybe. We should really take care of that stork first. I remember really hating this character for some reason. <laughs> oh heck yeah, there we go. At last, the pixel has reached the end of the volcano. There is one last door, but he needs all of his friends' help to open. What could be inside? Well, we have all of our friends here, so... Let's just jump in. Now where is that stork? What is going on? Wait, what? We got you a surprise party. Wait, I think I... <laughs> I think I skipped the cutscene by accident. <laughs> surprise party! <laughs> We were just kidding about the stork. Thanks for playing with us, though. And yeah. <laughs> we got you a surprise party. Sorry, the stork was alive, but there is cake. 
That is a portal rabbit. There were a lot of those around this era. <laughs> Look, it's even a chocolate cake. We should relax and have fun once every, um, every once in a while. I'm too cool for you. Surprise, there is no stork. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was Pixelotl. My god, I love this game. <laughs> well, that was a super fun, like, flash marathon to go through. Check out the credits real quick. Daniel Lin, Scott Culp. Oh, it, that that's what Sculp is short for, okay. <laughs> Strivatsav Kunchakara? I probably mispronounced that very poorly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know, I think after this, I might check, like, see if they have, like, Twitters and see if they're still doing stuff. Because, like, I, again, I love... If they made this in 2010, I can't imagine what they're doing nowadays, because this is a lot of fun to play. Oh, there we are. <sighs> Unless there's a way to, like, emulate Flash in the future, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. It's very sad to see it go, but... All good things must come to an end, I guess. Hmm. Quite sad, really. Like, these games are history to me. Like, I... I like, these games are, like... A big part of my childhood, a big part of childhood of people a lot of my or a lot of people my age, and like I don't know, man. It feels like a lot, like a big part of what makes the internet great is just going away. Hmm. I didn't mean to make it that depressing, but I don't know. I'm just really bummed out that we won't be able to play Flash stuff anymore. But Pixel Auto is is always great. I love Flash games. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.